Hello everybody, Rush Madman back with another video and today I got another custom showcase to show off. Um, thanks to everyone who suggested me doing a part two to uh, the Across the Spider-Verse showcase, which is really just one guy, but still, I appreciate when people suggest me doing things. Like I said, feel free to leave any suggestions for any customs, I am always open to ideas. Uh, but yeah, this is my uh, second part to the Across the Spider-Verse. In the first part, I made Miguel and a few others, so if you want to see, if you're interested in looking at that, Go watch my first video, it should be on my channel. Uh, and yeah, so now let's get on to the first figure. Without further ado, we have Miles Morales. This one, I'm really happy. So this is based off his appearance at the end. I based it off that one poster he was in uh, where he's battle damage. So this is battle damage Miles right here. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's not as detailed as potato means, but I compensated with that by making a battle damage. So yeah, I'm really liking how the kind of um, scratches looked on there. Also, I added a lot of dark blue detailing. It's hard to kind of show you, but there's a lot of like dark blue dots and um, kind of that weird thing he has in the middle, like the weird arrow, if you look closely. The weird arrow that goes down, that's all dark blue. Because his suit really in the movie kind of does, has like a lot of blue hints in it, uh, especially all the lighting. I didn't do any fancy kind of lighting or shading with this custom. But, yeah. Also, the hair piece is from uh, the Ninjago set. It's like a short hair piece. Um, so, I had to actually paint on the side of his head. Unfortunately, I don't like when I need to do that. But, I think I need to do that with this figure. Uh, this idea came from Potato Mean. Potato Mean did that for his custom, Miles Morales. Uh, at least, I believe he did. Uh, and, yeah. And then, I basically, I, the face is also custom painted. Not entirely. Um, but I made it look a bit, it was originally a smiling face, I made it look a little bit more serious, a little bit more, you know, like how he is towards the end of the movie, is the red stripes on the side, and also I didn't add like, you know, on the actual armpits, the red straps, but did add the red kind of on the side of the torso to kind of hint that, you know, he has those weird, they call them like bleeding armpits or whatever, right? Okay, finally, it's focusing now, it really doesn't... That's the thing. I think my camera is racist. It really doesn't like focusing on dark things. I don't, you know, it's just my camera. It's very cringe, very racist camera. Let's cancel my camera so it gets better. Um, all right. Next custom we have here. I'm debating who I want to show next, but I do know. I want to show the, uh, I keep on saying medieval. It's a renaissance vulture. I keep, I keep on saying medieval because I remember, like, the rumor was that, or, like, at least when the, the, I remember, like, a lot before this character was shown off, people called it Ren a medieval vulture, but it's Renaissance vulture. Also, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me get, like, a superhero stance. It could be, like, flying. That would be... That's cool. Isn't that, isn't that cool? Don't you agree? You think it's cool? That it's like, wow, Look at that. That's cool. Um, basically, this is a... I don't want to say a simple custom. It's not as complex as it could be. The wings... A little bit toned down. They're made a little... Okay, I'm going to take it off this action pose. The wings are made kind of smaller. It just uses the existing kind of Egypt pharaoh kind of weird wings they got going on. I gave him uh, these claws on one hand to, to kind of replicate the scene where he's about to strike Gwen. And then Miguel comes in, so he has the claws. And then the other hand has this kind of... It's an end of a bucket piece, but I cut off one end. So it's like the mechanism he uses to control his wings. It's obviously not connected to the wings, but still I think it looks good from certain angles. And yeah, so I sculpted on the face. I don't usually like to sculpt directly on the head, uh, but I did it for this custom. So you got the hair kind of coming down the side and then the mask. Now I realized I probably should have made the mask all brown, um, but I decided not to just so I could show up, so you could see the eyes better. Also, like I said, the, another thing about this custom, it's kind of, it's a little bit, not hard on the eyes, but it's just, it's a lot of just this um, tan color and brown. That's all it is. I wanted to just do tan and brown so I would like kind of be accurate, right? Because in the movie, he doesn't really have any other colors. So it is a little bit of a boring custom, If that, um, but I was about to say if that makes sense. Of course it makes sense. Uh, but yeah, there you go. But that is my Renaissance Vulture. I'm still happy with how it looks. Um, it's it's it, it's an interesting character, but how to make a custom of it? It's a little bit, a little bit on the blander side. Unlike this next guy, we have 
Kobe Brown, aka um, Spider Punk, and let's show him off right now. Here he is, Hobie. Oh, hello, Hobie Brown. I am actually really happy with how this custom turned out. Now you might be looking at me and be like, "Wait a minute, this guy looks all weird," and that's intentional. I decided instead of making because Potato Man made a really great um, Spider Punk, I decided to make him have like a weird color scheme because throughout the movie he's kind of flashing between a whole bunch of different weird colors. He's most of the time he's black and white. Sometimes he has pops of color. So I did, I based it off this one frame. I might show it on screen or I might not where he has kind of, where it makes it look like his jacket is like bright orange and he has like t hints of blue and then the rest of him is just gray, right? That's what I decided to do. And yeah, also I decided to give him the, uh, his unmasked head instead of his masked head because um, I thought it'd be interesting to try to make that hair piece. And yeah, and then for the skin tone, I decided to go with the kind of the dark gray. I was debating between that and the light gray, um, but I decided on dark gray because one, he does have a, a darker skin tone, and two, I think if I did it, I mean light gray I think would work, but it would look the same as his like Spider-Man outfit, and then it wouldn't really differentiate the skin from the outfit. You know what I mean? But yeah, if you disagree. Uh, let me know, let me know. But I'm still, I'm happy with how the face went out. Add some of the piercings on there. Like I said, the hair is nice and funky. Ignore the back of the torso. It's an Emmett torso. Uh, but yeah, but the coolest part about this figure by far, in my opinion, is I gave him his guitar. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. So the way I made his background, little yellow thing, is I just, I cut out, um, I, I think I cut out, maybe it was a, out of a GameStop receipt. And I folded it several times and I glued all the papers together to kind of make this hard stack. Now he can still attach to his hand through here. Can't attach through here, right? So I'll show you how that looks in just a second. But man, I I just think this looks really cool. Um, I just like his entire visual style. I think is really cool. And a lot of like I said, a lot of the merch doesn't really replicate this, right? A lot of like the, the figures and the toys and whatnot don't really show this off. It's just his generic suit, but. Yeah, and there, that's what it looks like. Now, he can't really be playing the guitar, unfortunately, because he can't hold on to that end. Um, or I guess, no, he, he, no I can't really, because it's all pur I painted it all purple. The guitar is a brown color in the movie, but I did find a frame where it looks purple, so I thought I'd go with purple, because it contrasts the best with yellow. So, yeah, there you go. Also, if you turn it around, you just ignore the red in his hand, but it kind of looks like he also has the guitar on his back, which or it's just like framing him or whatever. But yeah, I am really happy with how this custom, I think this one's definitely the best out of all of them. And yeah, so that is, uh, like I said, it's a little bit of a shorter showcase, only three figures. How many figures did the original one have that I made? I think also only three. Hold up, it had, maybe? No, it had uh, Spider-Man 2099, Ben Riley. Who, wait a minute, who else did I make for that showcase? Wait a minute, I feel like I'm going crazy. Yeah, Ben Riley. I'm gonna have to rewatch that video. Man, why am I, how am I, for, oh, the spot. Yes, I made, I did make, I made the spot. But yeah, um, y'all have a nice rest of the day. Go watch the 2011 film Orango. And how does, yeah, have, I'm, I'm honestly crazy. I don't know why I'm tired all of a sudden. It's not even that late. Like, what time? It's like maybe 8 o'clock. I don't know. So, you don't know. All right, y'all have a nice one. Bye.